Hello viewer, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station uh, channel where you watch. Uh, this is Physics Form 2 lesson where we are going to discuss about center of gravity, COG. So stay tuned and do pay attention throughout the lesson. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to achieve the following objectives. The objectives of the lesson include, number one, you'll be able to define uh, the center of gravity and you'll also now be able to determine uh, exper experimentally or try to explain the center of gravity of regular objects. So, uh, what is center of gravity? So, gravitational force of the Earth is the force uh, that attracts bodies towards the center of the Earth. So, all bodies which are closer or nearer the surface of the Earth are attracted towards the center of the earth and therefore if we consider for instance uh, a piece of uh, meter rule having been made by various particles or wooden particles and each of these wooden particles is under the influence of gravity so if these uh, wooden particles are under the influence of gravity they may cause a turning effect on this ruler if it is balanced at its center. So the center of gravity of this ruler or a body is the point of application of the resultant force due to the earth's gravitational force. So it will uh, turn or it will tilt about this point. So we can uh, replace this, the resultant force, with an arrow and downward force which now acts as uh, the point where uh, force of gravity will act on. So in addition to that, having, having identified what is a uh, center of gravity, which is the point of application from this illustration, the center of gravity of a body is the point of application of the resultant force due to the Earth's gravitational force. So several regular objects, their center of gravity can be determined. And this is because uh, their use is paramount in our day-to-day -day life activity. Activity. So if we start, for instance, with a wooden rod or a uniform rod, uh, we can as well as have a meter rule, which have the same same application. So if they are balanced at the center, or how can we get the center of gravity of this uh, uniform rod or a meter rule? We do, the, we, we do so by balancing it at the center. So the center of gravity is the point where the rod or the meter rule balances. You just suspend it using uh, a crump and stand and tie uh, the center with a thread. So the point where uh, the rod balances becomes the center of gravity. What about uh, a regular shape like a square plate? Uh, a square plate or even a rectangular plate. How do we get the center of gravity of these regular shaped objects? So if it's a square or a rectangular plate, the best thing or what you can do to get the COG or the center of gravity is by constructing the diagonals. Once you construct the diagonals, uh, the point of intersection of the diagonals uh, is the point of application of the resultant force, which is the COG. Uh, construct the diagonals and the point of intersection is the center of gravity. Where else or which other shapes do we have? We have a triangular plate. How do we get uh, the COG of a triangular plate? For us to get the center of gravity, we construct the perpendicular bisectors of the sides and uh, their point of intersection becomes uh, the center of gravity. What about a circular plate? A circular plate or a circular uh, regular object, how do we get the center of gravity? Uh, we do so by constructing the diameters. Then the point of intersection gives the center of gravity. That is the center of the plate. Uh, which other? We have a cubic block. How do we get the center of gravity? We do so by constructing the diagonals. Once we construct the diagonals, we get the center of gravity. What about a cylinder? 
how can we get the sh- uh, the center of gravity of a shape which is cylindrical we do so by constructing the vertical and horizontal axis the point of intersection midpoint of the axis gives us the center of gravity uh, what if we have a regular shaped object like a sphere for instance a ball how do we get the cog of this kind of a uh, shape we do so by uh, we construct the diameters of the sphere the point of intersection which is the center of the sphere is the center of gravity of that sphere what if we have a cone a uh, cone has the shape as illustrated how do we get the center of gravity we get the center of gravity of this cone by constructing the perpendicular bisector from the base and the point of intersection which is the point of intersection which is one third of the axis from the base gives us the center of gravity so which other shapes do we have for instance you may have a ring and you would like to determine the center of gravity of this kind of a regular shaped object so we do so by constructing once again uh, the diameters and the point of intersection which is the center of the ring becomes the center of the gravity and uh, what about an l shaped object we would like to determine the center of gravity of this kind of because uh, of this kind of shape because it is regular in shape how do we get its center of gravity uh, first thing what you do you divide the l shape into two rectangles and then construct diagonals on each side uh, after constructing the diagonals on each on each side you join the point of intersection and then bisect the line then the point where the bisector meets the line is the center of gravity of the uh, l shaped object this is the point where uh, the perpendicular bisector uh, meets the line so you can see that the center of gravity of a regular shaped object it's outside the object itself so those are some of the various regular shaped objects whose center of gravity can be determined using the given procedures as we as we have discussed so to be able to see whether we have got uh, the concept of this lesson we can do so by trying to answer the following questions uh, number one that is you can describe how you can uh, determine the center of gravity of the following regular shaped object number one a ball a uniform rod uh, or a cone how do we get the center of gravity so you can refer this to the reference which is uh, physics students book 2 and you can as well as reach us through our sms which is the number on your screen or visit our facebook or youtube page that is at erimu tv or give us a tweet at erimu tv underscore uh, ke i'm your tutor mr mangi francis and once again do pay attention to more lessons to come thank you